Even though Spain's cultural and historical heritage is unbelievable, its nature and landscapes are as impressive, if not more. In this video, I wanted to take you on the hiking route of the famous Cola de Caballo waterfall. This is amazing. We're in the northern part of Spain. We're in Tor La Ordesa, near the Pyrenees mountain. And guys, you need to come here because this is absolutely amazing. The sheer height of these mountains is incredible. I mean, <laughs> this is just the beginning of the route. And I believe that, uh, you know, further down, uh, to Monte Perdido, it will be even more impressive and I, I just can't wait, so you need to come here, come to Spain. To begin the route is necessary to reach the small town of Torla. During high season, you need to take the bus to Paradera de Ordesa, the starting point of the trek. Tickets can be purchased in the same parking lot of Torla. Located in the Ordesa and Monte Perdido National Park is one of the most emblematic and spectacular treks of the Pyrenees and probably of Spain. I assure you that this tour offers visitors an immersion in dreamlike landscapes with views of majestic mountains, lush forests and impressive waterfalls. The trek begins in Pradera de Ordesa, a perfect starting point that already offers spectacular views of the surrounding mountains. From here, the main trail, which follows the Arathas River, provides a relatively easy and well-marked trek of approximately 17 kilometers to Cola de Caballo waterfall and back. This route is classified as of moderate difficulty, being suitable for hikers with average physical conditions and even kids. We must keep in mind that the direction we must follow is the one indicated by the Cola de Caballo along the so-called Gradas de Suazo, since there are other routes with higher difficulties that lead to the same destination that lead to the refuge of Goritz and the climb to the peak of Monte Perdido. Although the entire route from the moment you leave the village of Torla is already beautiful, the first points along the way to delight ourselves are the three waterfalls, Arripas, La Cueva and Estrecho. By the way, this is Juana, she's my friend and also the producer of these videos. So do not be surprised if she shows up in different parts during this video. For the last two waterfalls, you need to deviate a few meters from the main path but everything is perfectly signposted. And even if you have to deviate a few meters from the path, it is really worth stopping and enjoying this spectacle of nature. These waterfalls are perfect for a photo stop, offering a taste of the power and the beauty of moving water. The one that impresses the most due to its flow, height, strength and way in which the water falls is that of Estrecho. In addition, this waterfall can also be seen from an intermediate level and even from the top after hiking along the main path and this is what makes it incredible. What are your thoughts about this waterfall? Would you like to see it in person? I would really love to read you in the comments about this.
without leaving the well-marked path and without the possibility of getting lost or taking a wrong direction, visitors can enjoy the dense birch and pine forests, the spectacular flora and even the native fauna. If you have them, I recommend that you bring a pair of binoculars with you, as well as plenty of water, though there are a few springs along the way, something to eat, and of course, comfortable hiking clothes and shoes. During high season, you need to take the bus to Paradera de Ordesa, the starting point of the trek. The high season generally runs from mid-June to September, and even on some holidays on which the access to Pradera de Ordesa is restricted. Hence, the park offers a bus service from Torla. Buses leave from Torla Ordesa parking and have a frequency of about 15 minutes, especially during peak hours. The first bus usually leaves early in the morning, around 6 or 7 o'clock a.m and the last one returns in the late afternoon between 8 and 9 p.m. It is advisable to check the specific time in advance as they may vary depending on the season. I'm gonna leave you all the information in the description of the video. Following the path, we arrive at the Gradas de Suazo a series of stepped waterfalls that form natural pools ideal for a pause and a rest. Many hikers stop here and eat the Spanish national sandwich called bocadillo. This part of the trail is a bit steeper as you must climb some natural steps to reach the impressive natural amphitheater that precedes the arrival at Cola de Caballo. I'm talking about the so-called Circo de Suazo. This is Monte Perdido. It's an incredible trek. I kind of recommend it to all you people you know who want to, who like nature and trekking. You should come here and see it. It's it's amazing. I mean, uh, these you know all the day, these past hours, uh, you know, getting up here, it's been incredible. We've seen a lot of waterfalls, a lot of uh, uh, you know wonderful nature, and this behind me is Monte Perdido. Uh, you know, I want to come back sometime and maybe try to climb it, but uh, yeah, uh, just come here, come to Spain. In this area we can delight our view in the numerous streams that are formed thanks to the melting snow in spring and also in summer which fall forming small waterfalls and finally end up forming streams in the large esplanade of the Circo de Suazo. In this environment, the feeling you have is unique. Everything around you is grandiose. A huge esplanade, giant mountains and people turning into ants. As 
I have been stated throughout the tour, the Cola de Caballo route in the Ordesa and Monte Perdido National Park is an unparalleled experience for hikers and nature lovers. With proper planning and the respect for natural environment, this tour promises you unforgettable moments that will remain in your memory all of your life. The final destination, the Cola de Caballo, is an impressive waterfall that falls from a considerable height, forming an unforgettable natural spectacle. At this point, let yourself be enchanted by the sound of the water falling firmly, connect with nature, fill yourself with energy and absorb the magnitude of the surrounding landscape. My name is Alex Moraras, I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share and definitely subscribe to find out more amazing places to visit before you come to Spain.